Hey guys, what's up? From time to time, I get interviews from game media around the world. They often ask me like, Hey, Mr. Yuzo Koshiro, what led you to make the game music? And what game music has inspired you? That's a very common question. So I just kind of want to talk about them today. Whenever they ask me that kind of question, I definitely raise the following three titles. The Tower of Draga, Gradius, and the Space Harrier. That game music really inspired me and really changed my life. As you probably already know, that they originally came out from the arcade games. So, first off, I just want to talk about the Tower of Draga music for arcade game. I clearly remember the day when I saw it for the first time after school at the Geisen near the Kyoto Station in Tokyo when I was 17. Because this music, composed by Junko Ozawa, was a fascinating orchestral kind of music, which I've never heard among other games. And also the sound itself was unbelievably gorgeous compared to other games released at the time. While most of the other game companies used a PSG sound chip, AY38910, Namco arcade games deployed a unique sound chip called C15, or the later model C30, which is dedicated to 8 channels wave sound generator. They are also called WSG sound chip for short. Though some chips can generate more various kinds of sound than PSG, that has only one pulse waveform. Most of Namco arcade games back in the day used to use these sound chips. So how many kinds of Namco arcade games used these sound chips? You know, there are too many to mention here. So, um, if you're interested in WSG sound chip, I highly recommend using Kamata, a software synthesizer which has been developed and released by COG a few years ago. Uh, Kamata is a true emulation of the WSG sound and it can be used on the COG gadget or the VST and other musical plugin formats on the DAW. Please check out the link in the description box down below for detail. Alright, let's talk about Gradius music from Konami next. Konami retro game music is one of the most important musical stuff in my entire life. I really love them because they produced music based on progressive rock and jazz fusion that are my favorite genre. Also, I believe that Konami composers and programmers had the best ability to control the sound chips for the game music back then. They have created amazing sound on any hardware like the arcade system board, MSX, Famicom, etc. The Gradius system board, which is called Bubble System, also has a unique sound chips. There is a kind of wave memory sound chip, which is akin to WSG sound chip by Namco that I've already mentioned. Other than Gradius, we have Twin B, Galactic Warriors, and RF2 Red Fighter working on the same system board as well. And those soundtracks also are really amazing. Miki Higashino, the Gradius music composer, wrote this great score when she was a university student. And that was unbelievably the first music she made for a video game. And lastly, I'm going to talk about Space Harrier music. This music really had a significant impact on me. Honestly, when I heard that for the first time, I thought there was a CD or some electronic musical instrument installed and played in the arcade cabinet, not the sound chip in there. It was too cool to believe that was a game music. There was really different than the ordinary game music that I've ever experienced. It really was a shock, like being struck by lightning. Sega developed a dedicated multi-channel PCM sound system earlier than other game companies when they released the Hang-On. That sound system is called Sega PCM. Space Harrier uses this brand new PCM system as well as Yamaha YM22-3 FM sound chip on board, so the sound was really gorgeous and advanced. The composer Hiroshi Kawaguchi, he is definitely one of the greatest game composers of all time. He started to work for Sega in 1984, and he still has made many excellent game soundtracks even nowadays. Outro music is one of the most popular songs among his great works of the FM sound chip era. The Latin style of music fascinated many people playing the game at the time, and is highly appreciated. 
Honestly, back in the day, I was kind of partial to the arcade game music rather than the console game music because of the advanced and the real sound and music like I told you in this video. Those experiences definitely led me to make the game music after that. I just want to talk about more on that maybe some other time here on YouTube. So see you next time. Thanks for watching.